Hello, I'm Hartford HealthCare's Tina Verona. Well, you may have worked hard all year in building and tweaking that perfect diet, only now to be swept into a funnel of temptation during the holiday season. And you're probably thinking, I've done so well. Well, Dr. Deviku Umashankar is an obesity medicine specialist here at Hartford HealthCare, and she's here with some advice on how to pack in a good time without packing on the extra pounds. Thank you for spending a few minutes with us. Thank you. This is a tough time of year for some folks. Mm -hmm. You know, they've, like I said, they've done well all year long and then it's like the holidays come, you're traveling, you're sort of a disrupting your daily routine, mm -hmm. if you will, and you're, you're sort of thrown off course. Mm -hmm. How do you recommend folks stay on course and, you know, while still enjoying the holidays? So what I tell people is during the holiday season, enjoy it. You know, really embrace what the season brings to us, but, you know, be aware. So there's no need to be restrictive. Um, I tell people to be aware of their portion controls and increase physical activities. Because what I notice is many times during the winter season of holidays, we tend to overeat mm -hmm. and decrease how much we tend to work out. So during the season, make sure you um, your goal should be weight maintenance and you know don't worry about weight loss at this time. So a week out from the holidays, we're a few days out now from Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. what should people start doing now? To, to, do they need to modify um, any diet exercise? You know what I tell people, you know, try to stay to your regular schedule as possible. So if you do exercise three, four days a week, try to continue that during the holiday season. Um, if you're getting ready to go to a family's house for the holiday, you know, start, you know, if you, you can actually even bring like a healthy um, meal to the holiday dinner, bring something that's vegetable, bring something that's, you know, good fruit intake so people can share during the holiday season. Um, but at this time, you know, just be aware of portions and increasing activities, what I would say. Yeah, and so when you when Thanksgiving does come around, you're thinking maybe like, oh, you know what, I'm going to skip breakfast because yes. I'm going to have such a big meal later, mm -hmm. so I'll just skip breakfast and lunch. But that's not good. Right. You know, I tell people, you know, definitely don't skip your breakfast, don't skip lunch, and, you know, try to save your appetite for dinner time because what, tend, what we tend to do then is to overeat. Mm -hmm. So definitely have your breakfast, have your lunch, even prior to going to the dinner, if you can even have a snack. So then when you're at the dinner table, you're not famished. You're just, you know, right where you need to be and you can enjoy whatever is on the table. So speaking of on the table, we were talking about the 50 shades of beige yes. earlier that we want to try to avoid. Yes. Take us through what should be on our table and, you know, if you want to enjoy that turkey or mashed potatoes, um, maybe do so in modification, but what should we be eating? Yeah, so what I tell people is definitely make your plate very colorful. Have the vegetables, whether it be the green beans or the asparagus, have your meats, and you know, enjoy and savor those. And if you can't have the carbohydrates, like the potatoes or the breads, 15 minutes later after enjoying your meats and vegetables. And why I say to wait for that 15 minutes is it actually, that time frame engages certain like hormones in our body that makes us feel fuller. So you tend to eat less. But you know, definitely there's no need to tell yourself you don't want it, you shouldn't eat something. Enjoy whatever is on the table. Just, you know, do it in a meat vegetable first, and then your carbs later. And so, you know, we hear, you know, having uh, consuming a lot of turkey, there's tryptophan in there, so you get tired after. Yeah. If you eat a big meal, the last thing you want to do is, is go and, and exercise or take a walk. You want to go straight to the couch and maybe take a nap. Mm -hmm. How do you curb that? How do you try to get active after eating a meal? You know, that's a great question. So what I tell people is, you know, after you have the meal prior to going and like, you know, sitting down at the table, Pick a family friend, pick a, like a family member and tell them after this dinner, we're going to like buddy up and go for a walk. Don't give yourself time to sit down on the couch and put the TV on because then it becomes much more challenging. After you clean up, go for your walk. Yep, and then of course, an hour or two later, you have to have dessert. Yes. And I and what I've done is I, I will just, you know, I want to eat a whole dessert, but you know, you try to limit yourself. Yep. And I found at least it works for me, just take one bite, it's enough to satisfy the craving, yep. and then you're not packing on the pounds. 
cracked. So I tell people, you know, when you have your dessert, be able to eat what you like, even if it's only one or two spoonfuls. You know, one recommendation I give people is, you know, instead of taking a larger plate, take a smaller plate. Fill everything you like and just try to avoid the seconds. I think what's very hard on individuals is when they feel restricted and then they don't enjoy. And one should never feel like they can't enjoy the holidays and the celebrations that it brings. Any uh, interesting tips or, or good recipes on some healthy desserts that we could be uh, making? Oh yes, so what I tell people in healthy desserts is, you know, try to make a great fruit salad. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, you know, try to stay away from specialty drinks that can be highly caloric. Um, alcoholic cocktails, although we all can enjoy them. You know, try to make sure you're being hydrated, drink water in between to, you know, prevent overconsumption as well because they all can be highly caloric and we're not even aware of what we're having. Yeah, and you know, and I've noticed too when, when you're eating these big holiday meals that are uh, very starch heavy, yes. you've got a lot of potatoes, mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, that kind of thing. If you consume that, at least for me, it's an hour later, I'm hungry again. Yes. Why is that? So what we know is any time that we eat any carby dinners or entrees, our body actually breaks it down into glucose. And as a counter-regulatory mechanism, our body actually releases insulin. Insulin is a hormone that actually is a fat storing hormone. It takes the glucose and it puts it into our cells. When it does that, it actually lowers the glucose level and it increases a hormone that we say ghrelin, a hunger hormone in our body. So that's why people tend to be hungrier after they have a bowl of pasta or after they have a bagel in the morning. So I tell people, you know, try, especially in the morning, you know, if you can have a high protein breakfast, it actually sustains your satiety levels throughout the day. So maybe for breakfast, maybe some egg whites Perfect. Um, for protein. Yes. Egg whites, um, you can even make it heartier with cheese, vegetables, even meats if you'd like, yogurt, um, cottage cheese, ricotta cheese, um, even fresh fruit. But the fresh fruits we also have to be careful with because fruits, for example, like bananas, um, pineapples tend to have high sugar, sugar. content. Yeah. And that falls into the same mechanism of how it can make you hungrier later on. So caloric intake on Thanksgiving, what should we be going for? Oh, how much? You, how many calories in a day? Oh, that's a great question. So I tend to not give numbers mm -hmm. actually because I think people become very focused on numbers. I, I tell people, you know what? Um, listen to yourself. You'll know when you're full, you know? And try to, um, you know, when you're ready to eat, try to do the meats and veggies first and then do the carbs as possible. But, you know, um, yeah, I don't really give caloric intake counts. <laughs> it's yeah, we, hard. We, it is, hard. It is hard and we do tend to think, oh, okay, well, that's uh, 200 calories. Yeah. Can't really have that or you do become fixated on that. Yeah, exactly. Sure. And then it takes the fun away from the holidays. Right, right. And drinks, you mentioned that before yes. too. That's a big thing because there are a lot of calories in, in wine and drinks and so forth. Absolutely, yeah. like eggnog, highly oh. caloric, mm -hmm. you know. So anything in moderation, you right. know, you should be able to. Well, and I think also too, um, aside from weight gain, you should be thinking about sodium for blood pressure, cholesterol, those types of things should also be on the on the docket for that day. Absolutely, make sure you know people take all their meds that they're supposed to that day. You know, be aware how much of your sodium intake you're taking. With sodium, make sure you're drinking a lot of water. You know, um, just be aware of what you're really you know eating that day. Yeah, just be cognizant of it. I want to talk about your title, an obesity medicine specialist. Yes. This is this is sort of a new subspecialty within probably the last ten years. Yes. Talk to me about what it is you specifically do for patients and how personalized this care is. Oh, absolutely. So I actually work with a wide array of patients. I work with individuals that may have, uh, for example, chronic diseases like high blood pressure, diabetes, that just have challenges with weight 
or I work with individuals that may have had bariatric surgery and they actually regain their weight. During the time that they're with me, we actually do a very comprehensive medical history to see where their challenges may be and to see, for example, if the medications they're currently on can be contributing to their weight gain and how I can assist with that. And everyone that comes and sits with me, everyone gets an individualized plan because everyone's different. Everyone has different challenges in terms of cravings and hunger and their comorbidities. So we have to make sure that the nutrition plan that is recommended is appropriate for that individual. And I think what's important to know is that when you're talking about weight issues, that part in the pun, there really is no one size fits all for people. Absolutely. It's very individualized mm -hmm. and the personalized care I think is key. I agree. Absolutely. So we get through Thanksgiving, then we have Christmas coming. What should folks be doing between, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas? And you know, you're traveling, you really are off your daily routine. How do you stay focused? You know, it's, it's not easy, but I think you have to keep it in your forebrain. Mm -hmm. You know, um, when you're traveling, it's hard to stay to your regular schedule, you know, but definitely I tell people don't skip their meals, you know. Um, make sure you eat what you normally can as much as you can, you right. know. And in terms of activity, you may not be able to hit the gym, and that's okay. You may not be able to run your three, four, five miles, but make sure you're walking. Walk as much as you can. That itself has such great benefits to your health. 30 minutes a day? I like 30 minutes a day. Yeah, I think that's at good. At least. Yeah. At least. So I think the takeaway here is um, is exercise, maintain your routine, and, and really, you don't have to deprive yourself. Eat in modification, and the mm -hmm. most important thing is enjoy the holidays. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Dr. Umashenka, for these really helpful thank tips. You. I think it will... Um, uh, benefit a lot of folks out there. We do have a couple of classes coming up um, on our website. If you go to hartfordhealthcare.org, you do need to register for those classes on weight and on weight issues and, of course, how to eat healthy as well. You can call the number there on your screen. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Hartford Healthcare's Tina Verona, and have a happy Thanksgiving.